So if your opponent <laughs> Dude, doesn't geez. know they can mash out of that, you can get a lot of damage. And so this one is just, in general, good for positioning and combos. That was 41 damage. What is up, y'all? KRC Pinto here. Welcome back to Secret Sauce. Today, another X-Men Children of the Atom episode. Today, we're looking at Storm with the one and only Zambrano. If you've ever watched Mutant Mayhem, you may know him by Ivan Ooze Drip or Drop Dead Danny. He changes tags a lot, but his love for Storm never changes. How you doing, man? Hey, what's up? I'm chilling. How's everybody doing out there? Hopefully good, man. They're on a Coda video trying to learn this game, so they're better than they were five minutes ago, right? Excellent. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, so this character, uh, you know, Storm, storied Capcom Marvel character. Uh, a lot of games, she's really, really good. How does she hold up in this one? Is she like, you know, towards the top, towards the bottom? What's she do? So, and it's funny that you asked this because there are, there are two instances in which Storm is rated. So over in Japan, they think she's busted, top of the line, one of the best characters in the game. Over here in the U.S., she's ranked a little low, well, a lot lower than that. She's about bottom four uh, according to some like older tier lists uh i would say she's mid um and the thing that makes her a good character is that her potential is is way up there and there are a few things like key things that really make her really strong but a lot of things that hold her back so she's not a, a toolbox like cyclops and she's definitely not like omega raid where she can just do crazy things with crazy hitboxes right you actually have to uh earn your victories <laughs> what it what does japan do with her that makes them think she's so nutty honestly um i'm i'm not quite sure because there are very few japan players that um stream this game or show this game when you look back at the footage there's about one or two and from what i've seen um they can confirm their hits into her infinites so that's oh just like super reliably yeah they're very consistent um for me, I think what gives her the most potential is her dash, which is has iframes on it. I'm ah, okay. Yeah. Well, good deal. I do. Uh, I keep the wiki pulled up while we talk, so I am referencing those things. So I actually did know that about the dash because I read a little bit before we started. So I feel good cool. now. I got. I, I knew the the secret tech a little bit there. We that, take that those. is the most key element to her strength is having okay. that. All those hitboxes gone. Sweet. And dude, yeah, that's badass. All right, so. Uh, Sweet character. Uh, we're going to explore her in depth. Are you ready to get started? Sure. All right, let's do it. So uh, a place I like to start generally, uh, what would you say is Storm's elevator pitch? Like if you had to explain this character to someone in one sentence, what would you what would you sell them with? Um, absolute, untethered, uncatchable free movement and a crazy good speed. Okay. Yeah, she's one of the few flyers in the game, right? So her flight is awful. So she is, <laughs> okay. you're not wrong, but I don't consider her a flight character because when you do it, it's just like, why? It's, it's usually by accident that that happens. Um, but she is, uh, I believe, the only character in the game with an eight-way air dash. So she can dash in all directions from her air dash, which is great. Uh, like I said, untethered movement. She can go wherever she wants, however she wants, and she's very fast. Bit of a unique input for a dash there, too. Two punch buttons. Right. And uh, the great thing about dashing and movement in this game is uh, dashes like that work with pressing. And I do believe if you release, yeah, see, you can negative edge the dash as well. Oh. So pressing and releasing. I feel like that might be important later to some sort of combo or something. Well, it's important for a movement. If you're building a rhythm, you can time your presses and releases. So that way she's like dashing how you want, you know? Dude, that's kind of nuts. Oh, I like that. Yeah. Um, on the topic of movement, she also has a variable fall speed, correct? She can like yes. delay it. You can hold up to float. So a normal jump for her would end right about there. And then when you hold up, she floats down. So floating is actually key, mixing up whether you're floating, coming down, floating. And you can you can stutter it. You you don't have to like commit to one or the other. However you want to land is how you land. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Very cool. yeah. Variable timing can bait a lot of nonsense out. Mm -hmm. What's a, what's your favorite move of hers and why? It can be a normal, special, super, whatever you just like best. Okay. So my favorite move of hers is a crouching middle punch. This move is 
fast, has a lot of range. If you look at the, the hitbox on it, it's slightly disjointed far away from her body. She is very low when she does it, and the great thing about it is it can combo into itself. And it's also key to her infinite on the ground, so you can... You can keep using it until they're stunned. Are you negative edging that dash? No. I am... <sighs> Man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm. What I'm doing is I'm dashing with the two buttons, and the priority system in this game when you hit multiple buttons leans towards the lower button. So I double tap, it breaks my dash with middle punch if I'm hitting these two, and then I tap it again to dash. Oh, okay. So uh, my friends, there. When I would play and do practice, I was like, oh, we know Dan's practicing because we can hear him do the, <laughs> do the dashing. That's funny. Is that a does that move hit low as well? Uh no. It's very low, but it does not hit low, so they can block that standing. I love so that. If you wanted to, oh, sorry, my bad. Keep going. If you wanted to mix it up, you can do the crouching middle kick, which does hit low and does infinite on its own as well. Jeez. Uh, I can get that timing right for you. Yeah. It's um, a little tighter than doing the crouching middle punch. I was gonna say I love that zap animation on the hit. That like it's like the I'm seeing the electric just like go up Cyclops, that looks so cool. It is very cool. And it's on a lot of her buttons. Jab has it. All her punch buttons pretty much have that. So if you like seeing people get shocked, use the top buttons. <laughs> Fair enough. All right, let's uh, let's talk about Storm's neutral a bit. Uh, this character, really good movement, some projectile options. What do you like to do with her in neutral? So in neutral, I like to do one of two things. Then it depends on completely on how my opponent is. If I know they're sort of trying to aggress me and just approach me with jump-ins and buttons, I like to wait them out a little, see what they're doing, and I like to sort of dash in through their patterns and counter with a throw. And that sets up your infinite once they land. Ooh. So that can get you a stun. You can put them in the corner and then uh, continue for an infinite. Dude, that's simple, huh? You can just dash through and grab. That's actually... Yeah. That's it, no wonder Japan likes her. Good lord. <laughs> um, and yeah, if if I notice that they're sort of backing up or trying to space out what I'm doing, um, these typhoons are very reliable. They have three base speeds when you throw them out, but also like her um, holding up when you're jumping, they have variable speeds as well. So you can hold back to make the tornado make a little bit slower when it comes to them. So you can change up the speeds. The tornado can combo into itself. It doesn't take up a lot of ground, even though it looks like it. But because you can control it and where it goes, it sort of creates a guessing game for the opponent on how to approach you. So I like to see what they do there and then just change up my game just based on what my opponent is doing. If I need time to breathe, I'll definitely keep throwing out tornadoes so I can think about a strategy and do my best to win or try to. That makes sense. So I know that her, I believe it's jumping medium punch has an orb that comes out that you can control a little bit. Does that become useful at any point? Uh, that does become useful when you're running away. So I like to back up, throw that, and sort of cover my thing. If they're running into me and I notice that they have a hit, I can confirm it into a hit myself. Huh. So she's very good at, at running away. If you enjoy that sort of play style, definitely try to think of considering Storm. But she has some rushdown too. So again, she's, she can play... A lot of different styles, and it's very fun to control her, but yeah. And when that, I, something you keep doing there, you can push them away or pull them in, too, right? So that, yeah, that's her X ability. It costs a little bit of meter, and you can push and pull your opponent away from you for varying distances as well. So when you use it and you just let go, it does the longest one. But you can hold it and cut the, uh, the distance they travel shorter. So again, if you like controlling the screen or being in total control of where you are yourself you gotta use storm you have to be aware that even though um you have a lot of buttons and they all look cool and they have all these nice animations and that like you see these little tornadoes and bolts of lightning it's not necessarily one for one uh hitbox matches to animation and a lot of the cast can just outright out prioritize her moves so you have to be very very careful with what you throw out and because she has such low stamina, she takes a lot of hit. Uh, she doesn't take a lot of hits. It can end up being just one big mistake in this game. If you throw out the wrong button, 
get counter hit and then just killed. So be very careful with what you're using. Uh, just for the uninitiated, including myself, uh, low stamina meaning that she stuns really easily. Well, you're not wrong there. Yes, she does. But she, um, you see the 144 up there on uh -huh. top. So everybody has the same amount of health. However, she takes more damage from hits than another character would. Ah, okay. Yeah. It's not the lowest, but it's not very high. Gotcha. Okay, so a lot of movement options, a lot of runaway options. Can come in, can literally push and pull the opponent as she sees fit. We've got projectiles, but we got to be a little cautious with the hitboxes. That about sum it up? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, cool. Well, let's uh let's explore that rush down a bit. Let's talk about what happens when you do close the gap with her. What do you do to make opponents sweat on block? How is she in like pressure strings, mix-ups, things like that? So when you get the basically my my game is to fish for this. And once I land this, I go for the stun and then try to go for an infinite. You know, um, but when your opponent is respecting you and they're they're not trying to press buttons on you because they know you have an invincible dash it sort of opens up the floor for her to get a little more crazy you can do crossover dash jumps like that so if anybody who's a, a fan of marvel will kind of be familiar with that um you can always beta move and then go in for that and throw throwing is king in this game so if your opponent is not pressing buttons and respecting you, it's it's really open floor for you to do whatever you want. You can do jump up, jump down. You can fake it, right? Land, hit a low. It's it's all just pure freedom. Just whatever you think you can do with Storm, it can happen. It's it's kind of like the blanket rule to this game is like if you can think of it, you can probably do it. And with Storm and and her movement and her freedoms, it definitely opens the door for that a lot more. Um, but she is prone to getting hit, so you do have to make your opponent respect you. So in order to do that, you um, can always just pressure them with that, right? And then put them in the corner, so then you, you have time to react to what they're doing. So if they're trying to jump out, you can sort of air dash towards them and catch them with a throw. You can back up, throw projectiles, because they have no space. There's a lot of things that, that go into the, the core Storm gameplay for me. That's definitely what I'm looking for when I'm playing, just to keep my opponent pressured and locked. And uh, so in the way or in the uh, vein of air dashes, those aren't universal in this game, correct? That's only like select characters who have air dashes. Omega Red can air dash. Omega Red can, Storm can. Can that's anyone it. else? That's that's it. So that so that's it. something unique that you have to worry about when you're fighting this character. Like oh, no one else is is moving around you at the same speed. Nope. And uh, she can use it to. There are characters that have dump, double jumps. She can sort of use it to reposition herself in the air not come down the way you want like things like that too so again like she's such a pure movement character i think a lot of people who come from more modern games will, will really enjoy using her so like the games uh strike throw aside does she really feel like kind of like a high low to you like are you ever in a situation where you're trying to like 50 50 people um it's a little tricky to do and because you can super dash cancel off of anything in this game somebody who's probably got a little more execution than me would be able to execute that and i can definitely see that being like a, an important part of storm's gameplay but it also comes with knowing what buttons to press and and worrying about how like how really how low priority her moves are makes sense i come from guilty gear and dragon ball so my brain always just automatically goes to like air dash 50 50 that's just like where <laughs> where my brain is i'm like wired for it so i was just curious since she does have uh the movement if they're really block heavy does she have any like you know, I know there's a lot of, like, pushback on block in this game. Does she have, because her buttons are so big, like, good ways to end her strings once she gets a little bit further away? Or are you always trying to kind of dash in and keep them in block eternally? If you're going for offense, you definitely want to be right next to them. Just because it, it just opens up what you can do to them. Which in, includes pressuring for throw or crossing over. Which is, like, the the big two, sort of, on her on her game plan. Crossing over or throwing. If Makes you're sense. Right there, yeah, you can see that you can really just control what they're doing. If you know they're like trying to mash on you, you can dash away, which also has invincibility, and sort of just get a feel for what's going on. Dude, you can dash back and forth so fast. Like that's nuts. Can you like set up like permanent invincibility like that until you decide it's time? Like <laughs> No, no, no. It does pop up once you stop the dash, but 
Uh, <laughs> if you're looking, you can catch it in between. There are little points where it does come back. So you, you can't be reckless with it. You can't abuse it. She looks like she's playing uh, melee right now with the dash dancing. Just back and forth. <laughs> that's nuts. All right, cool. Anything else that's important to know about her uh, her offensive game? Um, if you're coming down, all right, uh, for air to airs, you want to use this light kick. This light kick is very good. Uh, people who are familiar with Marvel 2 will know that. It's so fast, it's... I can't even see it. <laughs> <laughs> this is also very good for coming down. You see that large hitbox? That's the Doctor Doom right there. That's so what that very, looks like. <laughs> very few characters can anti-air this. Uh, a lot of the best characters can't. So remember that you have the spaces if you're going to approach with it. And then just you can sort of drift into it slightly if you see what I'm doing there. So you can get out of the range of their anti-airs and then approach with that. Um, all of her other buttons are really not good for, for air use unless you're doing them in combos. So this one is notable because it will, it will hit above her. And it's a launcher in the air. But the other ones, they, they're really not re as reliable as these two moves. So it's simple. Just you don't have to think about a lot. <laughs> just use those two <laughs> things and it's fine <laughs> one of two yeah love air that. to air air to ground this section i would normally with any other game talk about okazeme i know this game's a little funky that's not always what you should go for a lot of people like to otg instead um so let's just talk about knockdown situations in general what does storm like to do off of a knockdown on a knockdown um the opponent has the option to tech roll so if your opponent is rolling because your dash is so fast, you can roll with them and sort of a lot of things players do. If you land your your self right on top of them, a lot of them will mash grab once they roll. What you can do is see where they're rolling, use your dash to eliminate your hitbox and throw box and sort of whiff punish them. Wait, it's throw invincible too? Yes. Oh man. <laughs> So that's, that's uh, another good one. Um, if you see they're rolling away from you, you can always throw out a slow typhoon, just take up some space, or you can approach with that if they're rolling. And then just see if you get a hit or if they guard and then work on what you do from there. Because if you guard, if they guard, this does leave them in a significant amount of um, block stun. You can sort of see if they're blocking low, see if they're blocking high and go for a mix, like try to hit their head or cross over while they're guarding. Okay, so that actually puts you in a pretty good situation then. Yeah, um, it's it's very difficult to read the rolls in here, but again, if, if you're a smart player and you can sort of tell the patterns of your opponent, the floor is yours. Um, does she have anything OTG-wise that's like notable? Like if someone was going to pick her up, are there certain buttons for OTGing that are really important to know? Um, generally, you, you don't want to OTG because what it does is, you see how he's getting up like that? Yeah. Uh, he, he can act out of that animation as soon as it starts. So he can either move forward, guard, do a move of his own, throw you. Um, if you are wanting to mess with that, uh, this right here is a very fast kick. This one and this one. So you can mess with them a little bit like that. Just mash on them. So if they're mashing, you can stagger them. Just be careful because it is putting you in a range that can be thrown. But yeah, generally, I, I don't really try to, to hit them OTG. All right, let's talk about Storm's defense a bit. So I'm sure the dash is going to come up here. But, you know, it's a fighting game. We got a block, so we should go <laughs> over, you know, that bit a little bit. So let's say the other person's taking their turn. This game's terrifying to have someone else take their turn. So what are you doing with Storm on defense to get out of situations that are not ideal? I am looking for gaps in their combo strings so I can super jump away. Because if I super jump away... I don't necessarily have to commit to the full super jump like most characters. Um, there's, it's called Suki guarding. That's the technique, and a lot of, a lot of defense goes goes into this. So, if your opponent has you cornered, right? A lot of this, a lot of high level gameplay takes place in the corner. It just, it just so happens that way. Um, again, I'm I'm holding down. I'm looking for a gap in their strength to super jump. And if I know I found it and I can get away, I can super jump, cut off the super jump, and dash out of it. So that way I have space. Um, a lot of characters also have really good jump ins that they abuse, like Cyclops over here can jump with his down heavy. Again, I'm looking for a gap that I can super dash through. Um, sorry, not super jump, super dash. I'm looking for a gap that I can dash through. 
and then either just run away, get to the other side of the screen, get some space to breathe, or even look for a gap to go for a throw or make them whiff and whiff punish with moves of my own. I like the uh, the dash out of Suki Guard. I do like that. That usually, like, obviously, it's great to super jump out. Uh, does leave you kind of in trouble in the air if they're ready for it. But it's nice that she can just like get away rapidly. I feel like that seems harder to punish. Oh yeah, and it's not as predictable as like you know I'm jumping up. You know my arc. I'm gonna have to come down. Uh, not necessarily for stuff. She can decide where she lands. How are her supers defensively? I know, like, some invincibility in the startup, but not perfect. Yeah. Right. So she does have invincibility on the startup of her super, but it takes so long to come out that it's really, really, really just not a defensive option for you. Other characters like Colossus and Wolverine, those activate up on frame one. Hers just... She has to spin, and then... <laughs> even then, after she spins, the move still hasn't come out. So she has to spin, pose, and then shoot out the lightning. So it's, it's not very advantageous for her to try that in defense. And then Hailstorm's even slower, right? Oh, yeah. That that was just like an Easter egg, I think. I'll do the move for you. You can see how slow it is to come out. <laughs> oh, my gosh. She's floating for so long before it happens. Yeah, it's a complete telegraph. It's not very good. And it puts her in flight, which is why. Why would you want to be in this? <laughs> All right, fair point. So stay away from Hailstorm. Probably don't use the Lightning Super. No, Lightning you should only be using after a stun. So that way you know you'll get the full damage uninterrupted and there's nothing they can do to stop you. Is it ever good in like a uh, like a whiff situation? Like say, you know, Cyclops has a lot of recovery on his optic beam. If he whiffs it, is it like fast enough to punish that for high damage or anything like that? Oh, no? no? It, is, it wow. is so slow, it will not punish that. RIP. Yeah, not very good. Okay. So... A simplistic but movement-based defensive approach. I like it. Yeah. Uh, for her super, if you are using it, um, it can guard break. So it can make itself unblockable. Uh, but the lightning bolts have to hit them in a way that is behind the opponent at the same time. Like in front and behind. And it can pinch them and break their guard. So Can, can you force that to happen? Like right now? Because I'm, I'm curious to see what that looks like. So it'd have to be at an angle and they'd have to be blocking. But I'd, I'd say right about here, and even a little higher, they can they can get their guard broken. Let me see if I can turn them on and do that. So the idea is that there are lightning bolts on both sides of him? Yeah. You have to do it in a way that maybe, maybe it's not going to work in the corner. Oh, airborne? Is That's that what the wiki is? says. Oh, okay. So maybe he was trying to... There it goes. So that's interesting. We can we can get the unblockable super if you're really precise. Yeah, I saw that. I saw his health change that time. Like notable. This doesn't do much chip, does it? Or uh, like no. any. Yeah, because everyone everyone else's supers I've seen, Omega Red Ooh, and Cyclops being that. the other ones, do like a ton of chip. Yeah, turn, no, not so much. Hmm. Uh, but what you can do is you can mash it for more hits. It'll spend more bar, but yeah, I saw that it was way longer than the last two times I did it. Huh. Okay. Yeah. But strategically, probably not something you're going to go for in the same way like Cyclops is checkmating you when you're below a certain health point, right? Oh, yeah. I Actually, that, that's one of the things that I'm uh, that I'm very confident in doing is knowing when they have enough health to just mash out Hail, um, Lightning Storm and, and chip them out. Oh, okay. Does she have any higher tier characters that she just like outright beats? Just out of curiosity, like any like really skewed in her favor matchups? Not skewed in her favor. Uh, if you can prevent um, Sentinel from hitting you, she she has a good way of walling him out. Uh, you, you just can't be predictable. I, I would say I, I do prefer her on, on that matchup. I think she goes fairly decently against Omega Red, considering how strong he is. Um, if his movement is predictable or if he is in animations that he doesn't cut off with super jumping or retracting his coils or his self, you can really punish him with your dash because he is one of those characters that it's just very niche in the way that he can control himself too. So yeah, and you kind of go one for one, but she has more control. Being able to dash through the coil grab sounds like pretty nice. That sounds yeah, like the hitbox on that is very part. small and very fast. And once you're through it, you're home free unless he pulls it back. And even then, you have a little bit of time. It's definitely back in your court and in your favor. 
yeah, this actually just occurred to me, but you, you are a multiple character main. So are, are those like kind of the matchups you choose her for? Uh, Sentinel, Omega Red, is there anyone else that you will select her over Colossus for? I will definitely always select her over Sentinel. Um, Omega Red, it depends on how I'm feeling and who I'm playing. I know that there are certain people that I can definitely capitalize on the fact that I'm doing big damage with Colossus and sort of scare them into respecting me so that way I can do even more throws. Um, but yeah, anybody really that, that's mobile and can keep Colossus locked out, I switch to Storm right away. So that will be your Psylox, uh, in some instances Cyclops, definitely Sentinel just because uh, Colossus can't capitalize on his throw game when he's fighting Sentinel. He gets up way too fast. There's just no point in doing it. Um, yeah, so those are the characters that I look to switch her for. But I will keep her in for Omega Reds. I will keep her in from even Wolverine, even though oh. Colossus has a better matchup. I feel more comfortable with her. All right, man, we are, we're at the end here. So to show me out, I'm going to need you to show me your sauciest storm combo. And you can take that to mean whatever you want. It could be your favorite combo. It could be your biggest flex combo. It could be just an infinite that you think is funny as hell. That's fine with me too, but but sauce it up for me, man. Let, let me see it. All right, I'm probably going to set it up so that way I, I can do it off of the jab infinite. Uh, let me make a safe state button. How many so... infinites does she have? I feel like you've mentioned like four. She has the uh, the dash middle punch infinite. She has the dash middle kick infinite. She has the infinite that I do. I'm, I'm going to show you that one. And there's one that uh, another member of the community, Abdul, likes to do, where it's like a, a mid-screen infinite. It doesn't go super jump height. And it's 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 more like launching them with that. And then that. And then sort of... I don't know how he does it. <laughs> Uh, let's get my boy stunned. Uh, left and right corner are different. It's easier on the left. We're going to the left. The corners are different. What? Yeah, they fall out. So basically, on the on the, on this corner where Storm is right here, if your opponent is there and you're holding forward in the air, you'll you'll end up behind them eventually. Um, and it doesn't happen on the left side. There's no way you'll cross up on them. Is that match map specific, or is that just the uh, everything? Every stage is like that. What the hell? <laughs> okay. I think I think it's a carryover from ST where like the corners are different in ST as well. Like the the left side will keep moves ongoing. Like let's say you did the sumo headbutt right with the Honda on that right. side, you'd be sumoing headbutting into the wall. And ended. If you did it on the right side, as soon as you touch the right side, the animation would end. So it's it's just weird. That is super weird. Okay, interesting little tidbit. So left side corner. Do you just put up like what thirty five hits and I'm yeah. gonna go ahead and say fifteen of them were JLPs. <laughs> That's so funny. I'd be so mad if someone did that to me in a tournament. <laughs> Maybe sit there True. through all that. It does kill eventually. It's it's her fastest killing one because you're doing the most single hit. So scaling in this game is ridiculous. And uh this is why I do this version, because you're you're honestly just maximizing your time and their time. You know, have some mercy for your opponent. How many uh, how many hits do you, do you need for, for this to be saucy? Uh, honestly, I think you passed the threshold with that last yeah. one. But so if you want to keep going, be my guest. I think the 35 is cool. Uh, let's let's Maybe I'll do the variant where I hit through the super first. Wait, you can combo out of the super? Yeah. No, you beat your record without even doing a loop. <laughs> That's nuts. Casual 52 hits. Okay, <laughs> so wait, can you, off of the throw, if you can continue looping that, can you kill off that throw? Oh, for sure. Dude, that's so sick. Obviously, you have to do the meter to do that, so they're probably bleeding at that point anyway a little bit, but mm -hmm. but good God. I imagine getting thrown into that. Just, whew, that's a she bad throw, time. Throw into throw. 
Did she follow the two throws per combo rule? Mm-hmm. Okay. Throw into throw. Saucy little two-hitter. James Chen would be proud. <laughs> Yeah, she's, she's cool. I love this character. We didn't actually... Okay, so we didn't touch on this. Let's just throw this in as the little, like, finishing point. Uh, So, characters in this game have multiple throws. Do you have, like, preferred ones for her? Oh, yeah, for sure. Um, If I'm going to... Okay, it's a bit of a knowledge check, but if I know my opponent doesn't like to mash, this throw actually does a lot of damage. So, if your opponent... <laughs> Dude, does it know they can mash out of that? You can get a lot of damage. And so this one is just, in general, good for positioning and combos. That was 41 damage. <laughs> it's nearly a third of the health. Good God, dude. <laughs> yeah, and both of her throws you can combo after. It's just the, the one that throws them up obviously gives you more time to follow up. Right. And uh, does the lightning one combo into the super? Probably not. No. Yeah, a little too much time there. So mid screen, I, w I definitely try to throw them to get them into the corner, and then just push them. Again, if I, if I know they they, they they can't match or don't want to match, definitely using that one. Damn, that's sick. All right, man. That's a uh, that's everything I had. We've come to the end of the storm episode. Appreciate you for taking the time. Thanks, man.